Right now they sweating these two individuals and they really have no reason to stop them. They're questioning the guy, asking him why he's sweating. I'm sweating, it's hot out here. So in reality, to be honest, they really had no reason to stop these two individuals because there was no crime called in and the description was not given over the radio. They just stopped them because they walked them, you know? And there's nothing against the law to walk. If they stop him to help him out, to tell him that if he needs an ambulance or something, it'd be a different story. Right now he's being interrogated. He hasn't committed no crime. He hasn't committed anything of that nature. You have these rookies, officer right now questioning him. Once again, I pulled up to the scene, but I know exactly what happened. I've seen this individual walking. One of them is feeling nice and high, which is nothing against the law. I right, for anybody to walk feeling nice and it ain't like they was displaying any type of narcotics or anything of that nature. These two officers just decided to stop them and this is what I'm trying to prevent from happening. Right now, they're violating the Fourth Amendment Constitution, right? If, if there's a situation where they need to call in the ambulance, then let them call in the ambulance. But they're harassing the individual for no reason at all. Once again, you can see that he hasn't committed no crime and they're just interrogating him, which is against the law. You don't stop somebody and interrogate him for no reason at all. There's no reasonable suspicion or anything of that nature. As you see, my presence here, I know, let this other individual go. They did not search him because they know he ain't committed a crime. If they would have searched him, that means they would have been committing a crime. Do you have any questions or anything? No, no, I'm just making sure that y'all carry out your duty with courtesy, professionalism, and respect. And this is going straight to your civil liberty. I don't know if you haven't heard about me, but I'm a king, 69, 81. 81. Yes. Thanks, man. Uh, yeah, be safe, man. Once again, he approached me, asked me if I was alright. That's basically a tactic to either find out who I am. Right now, they feel under pressure because they know I'm out here watching them. And that just shows exactly what these officers are out here. These are rookies from the 48th precinct. Right? And once again, I gave a report about the deputy inspector of that precinct. He is no good. He should not even be the deputy inspector of that precinct. 
His name is Cannoli, and I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that this individual I be removed because this is the type of police officers he's got running around out here wild without any type of justification, stopping people and harassing people, and this is something we do not. We are not going to tolerate. I'm not going to tolerate in my community, and I will step up, and I am going to step up, and I'm going to keep fighting against injustice like this. Peace.